Today was probably one of the nicest days that we've had so far, and I squandered it with a skill unparalleled. I don't think I was outside for more than five, maybe ten minutes the whole day long. But in my defense, when I was inside, I was being very productive. A couple of days ago, I received a very, very awesome email that had a whole bunch of information with regard to my family tree. And people who know me well know that I'm a huge genealogy buff. And so I've been um, doing my family tree for years and years. And this particular branch of my family tree was one about which I had very little information. And so the ability to be able to fill in a whole lot of blanks was just one that I couldn't turn down and one that I wanted to explore as quickly as possible. So uh, not that I thought that it was going anywhere, but, you know, it just was, it had that shiny button-ness to it. So I had to take advantage of all of the links and all of the documents that were sent to me. Most of the family tree that I have now goes back to like my seventh or eighth great-grandparents. Um, this particular branch of the family tree with all of the information that it has goes back to my 12th great-grandparents. It goes back to people who were born in the 1540s, which is absolutely amazing and so cool and so interesting. I'm just absolutely jazzed and, and having a, a heck of a lot of fun. One of the documents that was sent to me was a, was a certificate of uh, clinical insanity about one of my great-great-great-great relatives. And um, I'm guessing that's where my sister gets it from. My living arrangement is going to change very soon. Um, I've decided that I'm going to move out. My housemate's youngest daughter is coming back to stay here again. Um, his eldest daughter and her boyfriend and their baby live here already. Um, and uh, when I originally moved in, it was with the intention of helping my housemate get his youngest daughter back. She was living with her mother and in foster care at the time. So um, my job was to help get the house in order so that he could um, get her back. Um, and so now that's done. So I guess my work here is done. And so it's time for me to move on. I am going to kind of miss living here. I love my housemate to death. He is a great guy. He's a lot of fun. He's very interesting. And um, we have a lot of fun together. Um, at the same time, I'm looking forward to moving. I'm looking forward to getting out, going away. It's kind of uh, a lot of work for me here. I spend more than 10 hours a week cleaning. Um, so that's going to be, I guess, a bit of a shock to their systems when that is suddenly not here anymore. And they're going to have to pick up the slack. My housemate is not capable of, of that kind of thing of the extended standing and bending and whatnot that comes with having to keep house. So he can't do that, but his daughters are probably going to have to pick up that slack. And that is not something with which they have a great deal of ability or ambition. But I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to finding someplace that's closer to work. Currently, when I walk to work, my walk is about an hour. Um, I'd like to find some place that's within, say, 20 minutes of work. So that's the general vicinity that I'm looking in. And it's fun. I like looking for new places. You get to go into a place and you get to decorate it in your head and you get to see it the way that you want it and whatnot. So I'm, I'm really very much looking forward to that. And the guest who's been staying here for about a month, who's leaving on Saturday, um, he and I are going to get a place together. So that will be kind of cool. We get along pretty well, too. So I guess that's it for me. Um, that was just a quick little update. Um, it's about quarter past one, and uh, I'm kind of tired. I should be staying up all night because I have to work tomorrow night, but I'm not because I'm tired, and I'm going to go get some sleep, and I'll just have a nap sometime in the afternoon tomorrow. Anyway. Have a good Wednesday. Bye.